Hi guys, I'm Mike and welcome back to Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to mount an MBR system to the wall and hide the wires behind the wall. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe. It's free. So guys, I installed this MVR system with six cameras about a month ago. And this is the two terabyte MVR that we're gonna put on the wall. There'll be a link to the installation of this MVR and the cameras. This will be the location for our MVR wall mount, right here. And this is the location for the wire drops that are gonna go into the network box. You can see I have a hole already there for the Wi-Fi router. So it makes sense to go ahead and just use the same hole. Now we're gonna move my monitor up top. That's the new location right there. And if you wanna watch the video on how to install the MVR and the six cameras, the link will be right here, and there'll be a link in the description below. Okay guys, first thing, let's move everything out of the way. We need to make room for some work. So mounting this MVR, this network video recorder, should be pretty easy. The weight of the recorder is about two pounds, maybe a little bit more than two pounds. You'll need two screws and two wall anchors and do a test fit to make sure that the screws fit nicely. There are probably seven or eight holes in the back of the MVR, but we're gonna use these two holes right here. Next, you wanna measure from hole to hole, and our distance is two inches. So let's go ahead and take the MVR and put it on the wall where we wanna put it. Now we can see where we wanna put the hole locations. Go ahead and mark the first one, then measure your two inches to the right. Next, get a level just to make sure thing is straight across. You don't want a crooked MVR on your wall. It wouldn't look very good. And it's always good to double check your marks for level and for length. And it's a good thing we check because I'm off about an eighth of an inch. Oh. It's no big deal. Just remark the whole location to the right. About an eighth of an inch. And these are our two wall anchors and two screws. All right, next let's go ahead and drill the holes. Like I always say, less is best. So start with a smaller hole and then check and see if the anchor fits. Then you can drill out more with the larger bit or just kind of move the drill around to widen the hole. Next, insert the two anchors and tap them in with a hammer. Now screw in the screws and leave them out about maybe an eighth of an inch. This way the MVR can hang on like a hook. Okay, looks good. Let's mount the MVR. Right there, those two holes. Simply put the MVR onto the wall and kind of feel around for the screws to go into the holes. Success, looks great. It's perfect and it's level. Okay, here comes the fun part. These white wires here are the wires to the six cameras. So we're gonna have to push all that wire back up into the wall. And we're gonna have to fish a lot of wire as well from the MVR, like the power and the ethernet cable and some monitors. And so if you've ever done any kind of rewiring in a network box, it's really important to get organized. You may have to unplug some wires and then go back and replug them back in. Otherwise, it gets kind of confusing. And we have a lot of wires to organize, probably about 10 or 12 wires. So let's get this thing cleaned up. Okay, so the bulk of the problem here with the wires is these white wires that go to our cameras outside, they are way too long. So the easy solution is just to push these wires back into the wall cavity. There's plenty of room in the wall cavity behind the drywall. And you don't want these wires to be tangled, so you may have to unplug them and then untangle them and replug them back in.
All right, before we do any more, I'm gonna run the power through here because it's gonna get kind of tight. So I'm gonna fish it really quick. Fish this up. Okay guys, this is the technique that I use to fish wire. I have a string and a heavy bolt. Simply tie the string to the bolt and now you can use that to fish wires. The bolt's very heavy so it will go down to the bottom and you can fish it out like that. You know, I'll just tie the power cord and pull it up, up through there. As you can see, I'm running all the wires through one hole. And there's probably at least 13 or 14 wires right now already running through that hole. So it's getting pretty crowded. Looking back, I probably should have cut out another <laughs> hole. This would have been a lot easier. However, having all the wires run through one hole looks really good. Okay, here we go. Here's the power cable for the MVR. We'll go ahead and plug that in. Now back to the camera wires, the long white wires. Like I said before, we're just going to shove them back into the wall cavity. There's plenty of room behind that drywall. And done. Looks good. And secure with a twisty tie. Okay, the next wire we're going to fish is the HDMI cable. This cable goes to our HDMI extender that runs to our living room. We run HDMI over Ethernet. It's pretty cool. Okay, there's the HDMI. And let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, the next wire we're gonna fish is a Cat6 wire that goes from our router to our MVR box. Okay, there it is, and let's go ahead and plug it into the MVR. Now let's go ahead and move the monitor to its new location. So now I'll go ahead and plug the monitor into the MVR system. Now it's time to run the power from the monitor down through the hole and into the network box. <sighs> Just when you think you're done fishing, now one more stinking wire. It's a big old power supply. And this is the last wire we're going to fish, and of course, it's the biggest wire. <laughs> uh. Whoa! Easy. Okay, at this point, all the wires are fished behind the wall. Yes. I still have a lot to do here. Make it look pretty, but looks better already. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and plug the wires back into the Wi-Fi router. So now we have Wi-Fi and we have internet throughout the house. I'm guessing the family will be pretty happy. Well, now we're just going to do some cable management with uh, some Velcro straps. Just make everything look pretty. Get rid of the excess wire. Any excess wire I have in this box, I can push up into the wall cavity. Now one thing I'm going to have to do is mount this HDMI extender to the network box wall. Pretty simple, just some double-sized sticky tape. 
Just pick the location and stick it. Done. That's probably the only location I could have put this extender because the box is pretty maxed out. And it looks good and it's out of the way. Okay, now I just push more wire up to the wall cavity, get rid of it, out of sight. And that's the wire that goes from the MVR to my router. Okay, a quick vacuum and make it look nice and clean. And we're all done. That's it. It's beautiful. Organized and clean. Well guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. It's free. Thanks again for watching.